for the MSC Seashore. This is day number seven, our final day on board this vessel. And it is... Our last port! That means I get to use the curtains again! And I saved the best for last. What's behind curtain number four? That pretty much says it all. That's right, we are at Ocean Key Marine Reserve, MSC's private island here in the Bahamas. I'm so excited, we've never been to this private island before and private islands are always the best. So I'm super excited for today. Let's go ahead and get it started. Day number seven, our final day on board the MSC Seashore and here at Ocean Key Marine Reserve begins right now. Perfect day, perfect, oh, wrong island, sorry. Ooh, Add Cabana Bay, Cabana <laughs> Bay. Oh look, the little MSC Sun Dude is down there. What, what, what is their name? I, does anybody know the name of that MSC Sun? Because I, I have not figured it out thus far. If you guys know, please, please inform us. Oh, and I should mention, uh, full and complete island tour video is done. So check that out in the MSC Seashore playlist. I tell you what, one, we have a gorgeous view of the island from our balcony, but it looks like a really, really pretty island. It is, it's gorgeous. All right, enough chit chat. Quit messing about and whatnot. Let's go down and grab some grub and hit those beautiful waters. Something cool to note too is that MSC will provide you on the night before your arrival to Ocean Key with a map and an informational flyer to help you get around and know where you're going and what you're getting into. Something that's really cool about Ocean Key is that you get to be here like all day. See look at that arrival time 7 a.m. all aboard 8:30. Like, holy cow! Like, all, all day! And, since we're gonna be here in the nighttime, apparently, like, the lighthouse does this, like, light show kind of thing. One at 8.15 and then another one at 8.45. So, like, that's really cool and special. I, like, I'm really excited to check that out. Okay, now really, enough jabber, let's head down. One thing that's really nice about this island is that like you park like right here like like it you do not have a far walk at all like that was the gangway we just walked off and then right here you're on the island so that's cool not not a far walk at all <laughs> So it seems like that blue tower is like where you can kind of get like information and stuff like that and this red tower right here is where you can check on for excursions. And then if you go down this way, you can head towards the food, which we are going to do because we are ready for some grub. Ooh, look at these flowers. These look like the Lilo and Stitch flowers. Those are really pretty. Holy cow. This is a line and a half for the food. Is this the only like main food spot? Yeah, they have the food trucks scattered throughout the island. Hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff like that. Just these little food trucks, like more like food trailers. Uh, but this is it. And then other than if you're in Yacht Club, they have the Yacht Club restaurant. But besides that, this is where you're at. So waiting in line and then going through the actual buffet line itself took about 20 minutes. Sorry we didn't show the like all the food in line. It was just like too crazy up there. But as you can see, we got like corn on the cob, lots of different meat, including jerk chicken. Um, but then they have like standard like hot dogs, fries, burgers, all that kind of stuff. So things that you would normally see at like a like an island grill. They also had like pasta salad, rice and stuff. Like a good a good amount of stuff. Right across from the Seekers buffet, there is one of these like food truck beach shack kind of thing. So if you want to go like the hamburger hot dog route for lunch, I highly recommend going to one of those food truck stops 
because it is going to be a lot, lot less busy than the buffet. We have made our way over to Sunset Beach, which is the largest beach on the whole island. And we're gonna get in some of this beautiful water here. I haven't put the snorkel on yet, but... Oh my gosh, this water is incredible. It feels good, it looks good. Look at the clarity. You right? can see your whole body there. You know how I am about water. I'm pretty picky about water temperature, and this pretty much feels as good as it can get. I think that's the most impressive thing with this entire island is, again, we're here at Sunset Beach, which is straight out open to the ocean, right? We're not in the Ocean Key Lagoon, which is kind of walled off, and yet it's very calm here. There's a slight bobbing wave, but the clarity is absurd, and yeah. that's all around the island. Now the question is though, is there anything under the water to look at? Well, if there is, you will find it. Not me! You're gonna find it! <laughs> oh yeah. Right now! because as you can see there are a ton of rocks over here by the water and more importantly there's a ton of sharp shells as well so definitely keep your footsies protected and bring some water shoes so the internet is kind of weird here on ocean key so if you bought an internet package that you can use on the ship you can use it here on the island but they told us, I guess, that you have to log off of the internet, off of your device, before stepping off the ship. And then you had to re-log on when you, like, came on to Ocean Key. And the reason why is because I guess they have their own, like, MSC Ocean Key, like, hotspot versus, like, just using like the same connection that you would use on the ship. And it's important that you do log off before you get off the ship because if you try to log in when you're already on the island, it's gonna say this, that you can't use two devices at the same time. So because I didn't log off on the ship, it thinks now that I'm on the island that I'm trying to use like my internet package on like two separate things at the same time. So if I wanted to use internet on the island, I would have to go back to the ship, log off, and then come back on the island and re-log on, which I'm not going to do. So I guess I'm just not gonna use internet while I'm on the island, but just a heads up for you. If you do have internet, log off when you're on the ship and then re-log on when you're on the island Wi-Fi. Same password, same login and everything. You just have to log off first. Here at the Ocean Village Transport Station, they do have an overhead map printed with some different paths that you can take and estimated walking time. So 12 minutes to the Ocean Key Lagoon between South Beach and North Beach and 5 minutes to Lighthouse Beach over by the Lighthouse. They also have a waiting area right here because you can pick up a tram to take you around the island if you don't want to walk. There's a tram right there going through. After walking around and touring this island and experiencing some fun parts of it as well, we need to tell you, you have to be prepared when you come here. You have to put on sunscreen, reef safe please, and you have to hydrate. Make sure you have tons and tons of water and you should have shoes because the sidewalks here get exceedingly hot. Well, and also too, the the reason why everything is so hot and why you'll get so hot is because there's not a lot of shade on this island. At all. So there's not like a lot of reprieve from the sun if you have a beautiful day like we have today. So I recommend a hat. And mm -hmm. like Matt said, stay hydrated, sunscreen, keep your body safe. The sunbrella might be your friend today. <laughs> Lighthouse there. What's up top? We will try to find out. Let's get over there. There's the lighthouse now. We're gonna try to go up it. They told us the last tour of the day is at five o'clock. Will we be able to ascend? I asked earlier and they told me it's $15 per person. Hopefully they'll let us go up. 
All right, we just talked to the tour attendant and she gave us the green light. Last tour is actually at 515 and uh, we'll be able, I guess, to pay for it and everything here. She told us $15 per person and uh, it's 450 right now. So she said, just come over to the bar, chill out, have a seat, hang out. And then at 515, we're heading up. Up! <laughs> It's so dangerous, you have to sign a waiver. <laughs> it's cool, while we were sitting here and waiting, we heard them say that it's like a three-stop thing. And you can see, there's a one, two, and then the top one, three stops. So we're gonna get to like hit each point until we get to the top. And the assistant said all the way up and all the way back down is about 30 minutes. Peek a boo view of the ship there before you start heading up the stairs. Let's count. One, hey, bro. two, never mind. All right, we're at the first landing here. And the first thing that needs to be pointed out is that the floor is a great. <laughs> so you can see straight through and straight down. So if Wait. you have issues with that. <laughs> I don't have an issue with it right now. I don't know if I'm gonna have an issue with it up there, but we'll see. You might just wanna keep the eyes fixed on the old horizon there. A nice view of the roof of the bar. <laughs> And out to sea as well. So our tour guide was just telling us that the island here was purchased by MSC in 2016, welcomed the first guest in 2017, but then a huge hurricane came through and they basically had to start all over. And he said when they first came to the island there was none of this, no buildings, no trees whatsoever. It was all just sand and they've had to plant all these trees and build up from scratch. Time to ascend the next set of stairs. Up on platform two now and it is also also a graded floor. Boys, I got the light breaking all the way up here. Right? They've done the light show, they do a light show at night, so we'll be checking that out. Yeah, look at this, man. Look at the water colors. The water here is so clear. And now up the final section here to the last platform at the top. And we have arrived. Whoa, straight down to the ground. Yikers. That's pretty crazy. So you don't have the whole platform up there. They do have part of it chained off. But you do have more of a wraparound. <laughs> I mean, just amazing views up here. Again, getting the different colors of the water, getting the clarity of the water. Check out the shadow of the lighthouse in the water there. So, over 75,000 trees and plants were added here to the island. So, and they've also found some dead coral. They've replanted coral, regrowing the coral so that they can have marine life come in and visit the area. They said when they first arrived, they had no marine life, no birds, but now they're starting to come in getting fish, stingrays, even sharks. In fact, she pointed out that this rope here, it's not just a rope next to the Lighthouse Lagoon Bay area. It's actually a net to keep sharks out from this area. So really interesting how all this has come about and how it all works. And it's nice to see that they're like helping, you know, regrow the environment and adding to the ecosystem here. And so that's actually Bimini Island off in the distance. They're only 20 miles away and they can actually see the nighttime light show from the lighthouse here over at Bimini. And then Miami is only 65 miles away. Is that nuts? Well, that was really cool. I, you know, like for 15 bucks, like I would totally, I mean, we did do it, but like I would totally do it because you, not only do you get like the best view, but you like learn a lot about the island, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, it actually was interesting stuff. And because we were kind of on the fence, like, because you do get great views of the island from the ship. Right. But I don't know, I think the lighthouse is better. And then learning all that stuff, the tour guide was excellent. Yeah. So really, really cool. Highly recommend. You enjoying the wind down evening of the island in your nice island rocking chair? Yeah, it's kind of hard to get it to rock, but it's a comfortable chair nonetheless. And yes, I am enjoying it. No one's here. It's quiet. Get to listen to the waves rolling in, sun starting to set. Nice breeze. That's all I'm asking for. I will say, having like the island pretty empty, that is a very big benefit to being here late.
came over here to South Beach, which is across from North Beach with the Ocean Key Lagoon in the middle. There's no one here now. This place was packed earlier. Now there's nobody. So we wanted to, I wanted to just hop in really quick, kind of see what the water was like in here, see if it was worth snorkeling at all or, or you know, what it might have to offer. So take a quick look at it. Once again, the water is very, very clear, which is not surprising considering it's clear out at the ocean side of things and this is a lagoon. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick look at how clear the water was because that's the end of that. As soon as I got in, they whistled and gave me the X no swimming so i guess once the lifeguards get off their stands and they start breaking down the the chairs and the umbrellas that's it which is pretty hilarious <laughs> considering you can still swim at the ocean where there are no lifeguards throughout the day but you can't swim in the lagoon that's protected once again msc you do things that i don't quite understand why you do them the way that you do but whatever that's your decision We'll listen to it. You do that thing you do. <laughs> da -da -da -da. All right, since they wouldn't let me in the lagoon, came over to the Lighthouse Bay Beach next to the ship and the lighthouse. Could try snorkeling in here. Looked pretty nice from up top there. So uh, see if there's anything we can see here. I know this one's open. All right, the water over here in Lighthouse Bay or Lighthouse Beach, I don't remember exactly what it's called, is also quite clear despite being on the open ocean and also very rocky, just like we've seen at other spots around the island. So definitely recommend water shoes or fins if you're going to be snorkeling or something like that.
That was so cool! I had no idea that it was going to be like images on the lighthouse. Like I thought it was going to be like laser lights coming out, but it was That's like what I thought. on it, the it, lighthouse. I thought it was like be shooting from like around it, like up it. Right. All around, lights up and down, images, and that was just the first show. We get a second one, which our tour guide of the lighthouse earlier told us is the better show. So, so and, and it's we'll cool. See. It's cool too because it's gonna be like a different show. So yeah. it's not gonna be like a duplicate. So we're gonna run up to the room and we're gonna watch the second show from our balcony. Also, totally get a balcony on the starboard side of the ship because if you're coming to Ocean Key, <laughs> definitely for this reason. And as soon as the show ends, you push back from the dock. We are out of here. See you later, Ocean Key. You were actually pretty awesome. The day, and thus the cruise, has drawn to a close. I tell you what, Ocean Key, like, was one of the best parts of the whole, like, cruise. Ocean Key is legitimately good. The water was gorgeous. And I love that you get to stay late at a private island. Like, why do, why don't more private islands do that? I wish they would, and I wish they had a cool light show like they had on the lighthouse. That was amazing. That was a great end to the cruise. And how about that snorkeling you saw earlier? Right there, I would have never guessed. Right there, off the ship where all those people were, that you'd see coral, colorful, purple, green coral, and all of those fish. I'll tell you what, if we ever come back here, that's where we're parking it for the whole day, right <laughs> yeah. there, because you have the lighthouse, you can look at the ship, awesome snorkeling, amazing sunset, and then the lighthouse show right there. You can't yeah. beat it. So we hope you've enjoyed this little journey, and of course, be sure to check out any of the day's vlogs that you missed, or our room tour, the full ship tour, the island tour. It was hot, but it's done. <laughs> All of that, of course, in the MSC Seashore playlist. And if you're interested in coming on board your own cruise journey, we can help make that happen as travel agents. Our services are completely free to you. We never charge a single cent whatsoever. And your price won't increase either. So feel free to reach out via the travel agent information. You know where it's at. And if you don't, I'll tell you. Description of this and every other video on the channel. Also, HoffmanHappyTravels.com is our website. If you want to reach out, we hope we'll hear from you soon. Once again, we want to thank you for joining us for today's video and all of the other day's videos and this entire MSC Seashore journey. But it is on to the next one. So we will see you next time. We're signing off. Happy, Happy travel! travel!